Namaskar Maya. So this question is regarding the meaning of this war. Is there something we have to learn seen from a spiritual view? Well, war is war. And this war is not any different from any of the other wars that have happened in the last years, decades, millennia of human history. It's another war. Seen from a spiritual point of view, the way to live with war is to ensure that you live. And what I mean by that is that freedom is important, but life is more important than freedom. And so wherever it's possible, and this I would say to the Ukrainians in this case, or to the Iraqis at that time, or to any, any people, that first life and then freedom, not the other way around, because if you fight for freedom and lose your life, then you have no chance to have both. Life is something too precious to give up just for the idea of freedom. And freedom for what? Yes, I do understand that freedom is important, but it's not more important than life itself. And that is a very powerful spiritual posture and position to take. I'm not saying that people have to be cowardly. What I'm saying is that where there is a choice, it is better to go for life. And then, with life in your hand, try to transform your surroundings so that there is more freedom. Because the ultimate freedom is not something which can be taken away by anyone. And that is the freedom to know Self. And when there is that knowledge of Self, no dictator, no, no one actually can take that away. And that is the ultimate freedom, that is the true freedom. Of course, if a person is in the military of a country, it is their dharma to fight till the end. It is their dharma to lay their life on the line, because that is their work. They've taken that up as their dharma to do. But if it is not their dharma to fight, if they are not soldiers, then life is more important than freedom. Because, as I said, when you have life, you can still gain the freedom. But when you don't have that life anymore, then that very amazing experience is lost. So for the spiritual seeker, it is important to live and to transform first themselves, and through that transformation of Self, the transformation of society around.